and welcome back to DevC TV. I'm Kayla Mitchell. I know we've been on a break due to a new semester, testing, and holidays, but we're back in full effect. And we will now be airing during first block, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So tell everyone. And I am Mealy Daniel. Today's school announcements are... Thursday night, we are hosting a FAFSA night helping students and parents with financial aid. If you have any more questions, please contact Ms. Polk in guidance. Come out and support our seniors next Monday, February 2nd with the mid-year graduations. Well, that's all in our school announcements. Kayla, tell us what's happening around our world. Today in World News, the National Weather Service predicted that two to three feet of snow will fall in a 250-mile stretch of the Northeast, including New York and Boston areas. Philadelphia was bracing for 14 to 18 inches. I wonder if we're getting these now. I hope not. A mother purposely poisoned her five-year-old son with salt and documented his decline on Facebook. Mm -hmm. The boy's sodium levels rose to a dangerous point with no medical explanation. Prosecutors said leading to a swollen brain, seizures, and death. Today, as a part of our fashion segment, we have to catch up on the fabulous looks at the Golden Globes. Here are a few of the most popular looks from Lupita Nyong'o, Jennifer Lopez, Kerry Washington, and Lord. We all know it's Wednesday in our Women Crush. This week is Iggy Azalea. Azalea is a female rapper. Fancy went to reach number one on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 chart, with Azalea becoming only the fourth solo female rapper ever to top the Hot 100. Additionally, with Azalea's feature with Ariana Grande single Problem, which rose to number two on the Hot 100 chart the same year Fancy topped the chart. A part of our new segment on yeah, WTV started, started, started at the Dove, now we're here. From the bottom, not a whole Bring our very own alumni, making it in the world. Our first guest on the show is former mayor and now Secretary of Transportation, Anthony Fox. And we have here today Anthony Fox, our former Charlotte mayor, and also now our Secretary of Transportation. How are you today? I'm great, Kayla. How are you? Good. Thank you for joining Thanks. us. So, and most importantly, you're an alumni from West Charlotte. I am. Very so, proudly. Yes, yeah. Lion Pride. So tell me about your West Charlotte experience. I had a great experience in West Charlotte. I had uh, so many great friends that I still have today and uh, great teachers. I had a great foundation for uh, going off to college and then going off to law school and all the things I've been able to do. And I think one of the most important things I learned at West Charlotte was not just the academics, but it was actually how to deal with so many different kinds of people. And that's what uh, West Charlotte taught me and it stayed with me even to this day. So do you, any of the teachers that you had then, are they still there now? I think all of my teachers have moved on. Okay. Uh, uh, hopefully they're still in this world. Mm -hmm. uh, I, don't, I don't know. So tell me what your responsibilities are as the Secretary of Transportation. Well, um, we're responsible for just about everything that moves in this country, whether it's an airplane, a car, a, a train, a boat. Uh, we want to make sure that everything moving is safe, moving safely through the country primarily, and then occasionally we get involved in helping to make investments to improve the infrastructure so that you can get places faster and safer. All right. So tell me how humbling the experience was getting the call from the President of the United States to be a part of his cabinet. Well, it was, a, it was an interesting experience. Uh, you never really prepared for something like that. But, um, you know, it speaks to the great community Charlotte is. You know, what I say oftentimes is that uh, what I've been able to do is more a reflection of places like West Charlotte that were so incredibly important in developing me that uh, when something like this happens, you know it's more of a team sport. It's not an individual. It's really more of a community that has a great transportation vision, a community that believes in itself and believes in its people and is capable of getting somebody like me to, to actually take, uh, take my studies seriously and take, uh, take college and other things seriously after that. That's 
kind of fun. So, what do you wish to tell the students that are going to be watching this now, sitting in the same spot you were, yeah. of how to succeed in life? Well, that's a really important question. Um, I think it starts with doing well where you are. It starts with uh, doing well in your studies and taking them seriously and realizing that uh, that uh, what you do in school sets you up for so many other great things down the road. And so I would always say, do well where you are. And then also, um, think about what you want to do. Um, you have chances as kids in high school to get exposed to different careers. And, you know, um, even if you don't know someone in your family, like in my case, I, I didn't have anybody in my family who had gone to law school. So I got to know people who uh, whose parents were lawyers or found one, one way or another to get in contact with people who were in those careers. And uh, the more you get closer to someone who's doing things like you want to do, the more it becomes real for you. So I think it's really important to find those opportunities. And then finally, I'd say um, nothing is easy. So everything you do, no matter what you do, um, is going to be hard. So, you know, dispense with the idea that, that success is ever going to be easy. Um, by the way, failure is not easy either. So, you know, as long as it's going to be hard, uh, make it successful and be good at what you, you choose to do and find a way to push through your own, um, your own uh, uh, roadblocks so that you can be successful. And, you know, what I found was that, um, you know, there were, there were times when nobody was going to read the book for me. I had to read it for myself. You know, nobody's going to do the math problem for me, so I had to do it myself. Mm -hmm. So you do have to uh, have a certain amount of initiative. And I think that resilience is part of what helps people be successful. They just won't take no for an answer. So it's New Year's. Mm -hmm. Any New Year's resolution? I'm on vacation, by the way. That's why I'm not in the suit. <laughs> <right now. laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Any New Year's resolution? Well, um, this New Year's, I, you know, what I want to do is uh, uh, really just work hard for the country. Um, work hard to make life better for people. And uh, that's a resolution I made every year as mayor of the city. Try to make the city better. And so I get an opportunity now to try to make the country better. All right. Well, West Charlotte is proud of you. Thank you. And we're very grateful for this interview. Sure. This concludes our interview. I'm Kayla Mitchell. And I'm Anthony Fox. And uh, this is Dub C T V. Very inspiring. Today's inspirational quote is, without education, you're not going anywhere in the world. Tuning in, see you Friday. I'm Mealy Daniel. And I'm Kayla Mitchell.